Matt, what did you do? I can smell it. Are we filming right now? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my workshop in the heart of Ford City, Windsor, Ontario. We're going to be showing you guys a couple of the products we're going to be doing in here, some of the weird stuff, the stuff that I love to do, the stuff that started this entire business. So instead of me getting into showing you or telling you guys about the project we're going to do, I'm just going to show you. Check out this baby grand piano right here. So what we're gonna do to this piano is we're gonna kind of disassemble it, keeping as much as we possibly can. We are going to turn this piano into a bookshelf that's gonna be able to roll around in my client's house. This piano meant a lot to her, so we're gonna take very good care of it. <coughs> I got a very cool backstory to it, so I want to make sure that we preserve as much of this piano as we possibly can to make sure that the story and the heart stays in the home. Okay, let's get the piano. Is that thing rolling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the baby grand piano. The harp and everything, all the guts of this piano have been taken out. So we have to make sure that these things stay up so it looks nice and presentable when the finished product is on the wall. I have no idea how we're going to do this yet, but we're going to make it so it holds books instead of giant cast iron pieces. To the guy who invented flathead screws, I don't like you. This is not the lightest thing. <laughs> So we got the, the lid off. I don't know if that's a proper term or not, but we got the lid off. We got lots of brass screws. We got some used earplugs, tons of cobwebs. It's perfect. <laughs> Stand up, yes. We're doing a lift. Okay. The plan is, is to take what's already here, these big structural pieces of the piano, and we're gonna sort of extend them so you can fit books on them. We're gonna bring them out as far as we can and somehow make it all the way across here. This thing's kind of in my way, but there's not a chance I'm building this bookcase without being able to see and play with these things. So we gotta make sure that that's still gonna work. So my plan is, what's going through my head right now is we're gonna remove this piece just enough, probably gonna hand plane it down so it's nice and flush with this piece. We're gonna bring the shelf all the way across and maybe back this with acrylic or some sort of glass, something see-through. So you can still see all the inner workings. I don't want to get rid of this. This is what it, this is what makes this piece so cool. Um, now we just got to make it useful again. That's what we do here at Reclaim Artistry. Now we're going to clean it up so we can get to work on it and I'm not choking and getting sawdust in my eyes. This little thing that looks like a little man. We're gonna get rid of it because it's completely useless. Bingo bango. Bring up the back. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Damn it, man. The surgery is about to begin. We are going to cut this piece off here so we can refinish the entire piece. So it all matches on the inside. I'm thinking we'll do all the stuff that we're touching right now in a black stain. That black water-based stain, it'll be the blackest stain we can possibly get. So I think it's going to be a good way to accent what we're doing and make it look as normal as it possibly can, I guess. Come on, get back. Let get power. The tool we're going to use to cut this, we call it the jitterbug. It's a multi-tool, perfect tool to do this then this is gonna save us a lot of time, so let's get right at it.
Maybe this is what that old earplug was for. It's a little bit loud. <laughs> Off a little bit more than I wanted, <laughs> but it could also be a good thing because now I think maybe. You get the right tool for this. This is extreme. That worked out way better than I wanted it to. Woo! Woo! Hell yeah! That just saved us a ton of time. So, last time I checked uh, the rule book on turning a piano into a bookshelf, there was no rules. Or no how-to or anything, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to tell you that right off the hop. But I do know that we're going to make it look badass when we're finished, so... Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the first Elephant in the Room project. This is only episode one, episode two. We're gonna hopefully finish that bad boy up. Um, there's gonna be a lot more of these projects coming out on YouTube, so stay tuned, subscribe. Please check out our Instagram. We also build all sorts of other furniture like the table behind us. We do a lot of reclaimed stuff, a lot of fun stuff. So check out our Instagram, that's where most of our projects are. You can also check out our website at www.michaeldefazio.ca. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is right there. Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, man, you crazy, man. You crazy, man. All right, you ready to rock? <laughs> <laughs>